Joseph. Do you know that when Joseph interpreted the dream of the battle and the cup of Pera, and it came to pass, and he said to the battle that when you get to the Pharaoh's palace after that we release, remember me. Do you know that he forgot him? He forgot him, yes. And some of you, you have done good to certain people, they have forgotten you. After today, if I be a man of God, they will yes. dream about you. Yeah. Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. Yes. Anybody you have been good to, and the person has broken through, and the person has forgotten, they will remember you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And do you know, deliverance is real. See, I'm going to tell you a true story. Let's assume teacher Kudu and Patrick and Pastor Obi. Pastor Opie's father took Teacher Kojo as his son, adopted son, and he helped the two of them and helped them go to school. They all graduated, but unfortunately for Pastor Opie, Teacher Kojo became a politician and he broke through. So Opie will go to Teacher Kojo's office to go, you know, where we are family, so if you can give me some contracts, you know. When he gets to Teacher Kojo's office, Teacher Kojo's security men and the bodyguards will not allow him. Even when he says, oh, it's my cousin, you know, it's my brother, they will still not allow him. When Teacher Kojo's party finally lost power, you know, when you lose power, you are left with about one man, two months to hand over everything. That day, when he was a OP, when the bodyguard allowed him to see him, and when he saw him, Teacher Kojo said, I've been looking for him all these years. Where did he go? He said, ah, I've been coming to this office all the time. And your bodyguards and your security have been sucking. Then Teacher Kojo got angry. He, he rallied all the security and said, Have you seen this man here before? All of us said, No, sir. And Teacher Kojo said, I can't help you because all the contracts now we are not in power. Your destiny, your back, is close to you. Joseph needed a destiny helper. And that destiny helper was fair. And, and do you know how, how it God had to bring a dream that nobody can interpret. Can I promise that somebody? Yes. There will be some incident will happen to your boss. Mm. Something will happen. It's only you who has the answer. Yeah. You know the story about Nehemiah? You know the story about Nehemiah? When you read the book of Second Kings, the Bible said he was an honorable man, he was a captain, he was blah blah blah, but yet he had leprosy. Now, the, the, the small girl who recommended the prophet was a servant in the house of Nehemiah. It was just a, a slave girl. And yet she was the only person that had the solution to Nehemiah's problem. May God make you a solution. Yeah. I said, may God make you a solution. Yeah. May God make you a solution. Yeah. Something will happen to a shake when you work. Your boss, somebody, and only you will have the solution. Yeah. Yeah. I, one day I was, uh, you, you know when I came to this country, I used to pray, God, I used to pray something. I said, God, let some shake, something will happen, and I'm the only person who can pray for him to re 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 they will come and call me. I'll be there, my mom will come and say, God, and I will say, Pastor, my boss is dying, you know? My boss is dying. If only you can resurrect him. I'm telling you, he's very rich. That is the place I pray. Yeah. Amen. I will pray some prayers. He, he must rise up. He must. He must. Am I saying somebody? Yeah. Hey, 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 a, father, a, father, a father in the Lord was sharing a story with me. And he said, there was this rich man, the one who produces Renault, he's in France. The owner, the, the, the CEO, the owner of the company. They called him to go and pray for the man's wife. The man's wife was not mentally correct. So as he was going, he was saying it in God, in our local dialect. He said, hey, this place, we must eat here. <laughs> if our family people follow us here, we will bite them. He was, hey, this place can come. So he took his two armor bearers, they went to the house. Immediately they got to the house, his family people entered the woman. The woman started saying, hey, hey, go, 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 go,
man was about to give up, the man was going to say, oh, uh, pastor, we are sorry, my wife doesn't want to see you. He made the man was about to say, hey, hey. it's the demon. We pray. It's the demon. Hey. Then he sent it in our local dialect to the Amon and said, come on, let me eat that bread. The woman wants to spoil our, our small town on top here. Hey, the woman wants to spoil it. Look at how we are suffering in Ghana. God has opened the door for us to come and pray for the CEO of Renault. And this woman wants to spoil. The woman could not work for 10 years. The woman kept sucking them and she forgot herself that she couldn't walk. And out of her anger, she stood up and started ah. chasing them. Before she could come to herself, then she realized that for 10 years that she couldn't walk, she was walking. And the man was shocked. Then, then he, said to me, he said to the man, you see the miracle that God can do? So the man took him to a big garage. He said, pick two cars. He looked, he looked, he looked, he looked. He chose two best cars. <laughs> the very expensive one. Then he asked the man, are you going to ship? He said, no, no problem. I'm going to ship. The man shipped the car. He paid all the duty in Ghana. Paid everything. Then I see it was not enough. The man took him to his office. He saw the man sign something. Then he saw the first zero. It's okay. Second zero. Mm. Third zero. Mm. Fourth zero. Mm. The man kept writing zero, 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 zero. He saw six zeros. Then he saw that on the check there was the there was the euro sign. Then he looked at the someone and said, "Ah, hey, when they walk with me, <laughs> walk with me." Wow. Yeah. Hey! It's not supposed to last more than 10 minutes. 
sex. It's not supposed to last more than 10 minutes. And so, African youth, I know you will insult me. Sure. If you are saying fix the country, then let's begin to think beyond sex. Yes. In China right now, look at what they are, the children are producing, the youth are doing. In every country, they are producing something. What are we producing as youth in Africa? All we are thinking about is how to last in debt. And yet we are saying we need destiny helpers. We need people to solve our problem. We need leaders to solve our problem. How can the leaders solve our problem if our mentality is all about sex? How can we hold our leaders to accountability? When we, the youth, all we are thinking about is to how to buy aphrodisia and to last in bed more than one hour. How can we progress as a nation and as a people? That when I wake up in the morning, all I'm thinking about the whole day is how when I get back, I will let them know that yes, I am a man. Stupidity in the eyes. I am not thinking about how I can be productive I can invent something. So, you see, let me tell you, your destiny helper will not come your way if he doesn't see that you have some potential in you or something in you that needs to be cultivated. Yes. There is a dialect, there is a program in my country. I said, your food will be a plan. And your piano. Let me interpret. The person who is climbing a good tree is the one that is pushed. Am I asking somebody? Oh, yes. If you are on the right path, I'm asking somebody. Yes, sir. But if all you are thinking about is your waist. <laughs> if I am an investor, when I'm coming to invest, I will invest into your waist. So I come and start a club instead of a factory. Yeah, if I'm an investor, if I'm going to Africa, do you know the area I will invest? I will invest into a factory, I will invest into a club. Because I know that Africa, you that's what they think. They want to go to club. Yeah. They want to have fun. They like women. So I would rather invest into that. And if I, me, me, if I, I was a non believer eh, and I want to do serious business in Africa, you know what I'll do? I will go to Latino countries like Mexico, Brazil, uh, uh, what, what other Latino country? Uh, Colombia, Cuba, and I'll bring girls. From, if I was, I was a non believer, I'll bring girls from there and I'll take them to Africa and I'll start a club. I, get, I give you one year, I'll be a millionaire in Africa. And those, most of these girls, they don't need to sleep with the African men. They should just use their hand with their beauty and pass on their head. <laughs> just use their hand and pass on their head. That's all. The money I will make in Africa in a year, you will be shocked. Then you will see that a lot of people in Africa are very useless. I'm telling you. I know that we are shocked because of this. But how can we say that we need help? We need destiny helpers. We need a man to help us. And all we are thinking about is sex. Am I asking somebody? Yes. Let me go on so I don't drift. Let me tell you. If you have what the world needs, they will chase after you. Yes. What makes a man relevant to his generation is because you have something to offer that the world needs. African youth, listen to me. If we have what it takes, the world will come for us. So everything is not all bonded on leadership. Yes, I know leadership plays a role. But I'm saying that what makes a man relevant is because he has something to offer that you need. See, when you have something to offer, people will pay for it. Why do you come to church every Friday? Is it because I'm, I'm handsome? Mm-hmm. Huh? Who can tell me why you come to church on Sunday? Why do you? You are closer. Why do you come? Because you know when you come and get a good preaching. Two of us. You know you get a good preaching. You know by the time you are living here, you are encouraged. Two of us. Two. So when you have something to offer, people will pay money for it. Hey, some of you are here. Invent something that will solve Corona. <laughs> Do you know Africa? If, if we are talking about African empowerment, and Africans we really want to... This corona would have been one of the things with our heads and everything. Yes. The youth, we can come together and try to solve corona problems.
problem permanently True. and see whether in the world will not turn to Africa. Yes. But you know what we are thinking about? How Jackie will come and I can satisfy her for two hours. Then I'll go and tell my friends, hey, when she came there, uh, when she came, two hours, she was in this screaming, she was begging me, stupidity in the eyes. When our, our same colleagues in other countries are in the lab and they are thinking of investing, see, as we are talking right now, in Silicon Valley, they have come up with a taxi. It's going to, next year is going to come out, a flying taxi. In Africa, we are not even producing pay. Nobody is ready to 
help me. That's why you have to choose your, your friends carefully. You need Benny Bearers, Jonathan. You need some Jonathan. Someone say, I need some Jonathan. Yes. You need people who will carry the cross with you. Like, like you see the service we are having. Look at the challenges time we are. But some of you came. You brought it up. You have come to check. Do you know how I call it? You are begging bearers. You are, you are carrying the burden with your pastor. You understand the pain of your pastor. You know that no, we need to come to church to encourage our pastor. We need to come to church because if you don't come to church, it doesn't affect your pastor. But you are coming and saying, Pastor, I, am, I want to come and encourage you so that I can do God's work. So you are begging bearers. You are carrying the cross with me. Am I speaking to somebody? Clap for yourselves. They come Friday, they are there. Wednesday, they are there. They are, they are bending, they are carrying the burden of the ministry. And you need men like that around you, not fake people. Who people are pretending around you when everything is okay? No, 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 no. When everything is okay, they vanish. Say, Lord, I need genuine people. I need Or say, I need genuine people. I need genuine Go to Matthew 27, verse 71. I'm, I'm ending. Matthew 27 to 32. Somebody say, I need somebody to carry my note. I need somebody to carry my note. Matthew 27, verse 32. So you need bedding bearers. You need connectors. Somebody say connectors. Connectors. You need somebody to connect. That was the first one I spoke about. You need somebody to give you recommendation. Then you need somebody to interpret your life, your vision. Now, and as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simeon by the name by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. Jesus was carrying the cross. And the Bible said at the point Jesus was tired with the cross. Even Jesus, Jesus, he was tired. He was carrying the cross and he was very tired. He was tired. He was about to fall. He needed a man to help him with the cross. And in this life, everybody is carrying the cross. I pray and I promise, may God help you Amen. to discover. May God bring somebody to carry your cross along. Amen. Amen. Oh, your amen is weak. Amen. Amen. I said your amen is weak. Amen. Amen. I said may God raise help us to carry your cross. Amen. Amen. You need somebody to carry your cross. You need a man to carry your cross. I'm asking you somebody. Yes, sir. You need a man to carry your cross. Next we can continue because of time. We are fasting, so let me go it so we can pray small. Let's go and give the Lord a clap of you. Are you ready to pray? Yes. So I need my people to, to get a microphone so we can back me pray. Say, we're going to pray that Lord, Lord, say after say Lord, Lord, let my Samaritan. Let my Samaritan. Let my Samaritan man. Let my Samaritan man. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Lord. Lord. Let my Samaritan man. Let my Samaritan man. Locate me. Locate me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever my destiny abides. Whatever my destiny abides. Locate me by fire. 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 Open up my cupboard. 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 Let our help us 
Let our helpers be the back. Let somebody help us. Let somebody begin to look at the camera. Let somebody begin to look at the camera. In the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray. Open your heart and pray. As the Lord is going to be there, the Lord will be To lift your spirit. To lift your spirit. In Jesus' name. And the Lord 
God is saying, you will have to revisit your background and deal with that spirit. It is that spirit that is sending good things away from you and is connected to a marriage. I'm going to pray for you. about to give you favor. Rub it in your hands. Rub your face. Rub your face. Now put your hand on your face. If I be a servant of God, yes. there are three things God is going to do for you. The first, God is going to show you the revelation of what I spoke about. Yes. Clearly. Yes. Two, the oil that you have rubbed your face is an oil of favor. Amen. Yeah. Every opportunity you have lost, God is bringing favor your way. Amen. God is bringing favor your way. Amen. I pray for you. That spirit that has caused men in your family to be polygamous. I pray to the name of Jesus. From today, may you walk in power. May you walk in authority. I pray that may this oil I have prayed with, may it never run dry yes. in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free. Amen. Amen. You can't. 
for money to go back and do ministry. It's one of the reasons why you are in this country. Because you are trying to do ministry, there is no help. There is nobody helping you. And so you decided that because of the poverty and the challenges, you have come to look for a job. So that when you get some money, you can go back and start a church and start a ministry. To be able to fund the ministry and buy instruments and other things. Hear the word of the Lord. The Bible said, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end is destruction. Pray about your coming here. The Lord will speak to you. The Lord said, He has sent three people to go ahead of you. I see an oil magnet. He's not even a believer, he's speaking a Rosa. He's an oil magnet. I see another person. He's speaking Igbo. I see another person. She's a woman. She's also speaking Igbo. And the Lord said, three of these people are going ahead of you. They are waiting for you. They are going to be your helper. They are going to be your helper. They are going to be your helper. They are going to help you. In the name of Jesus. I don't know that I've never met you before. But this is what the Lord said I should tell you. He has gone ahead of you. This guy come. Come to me on my prophetic element. Come. What I said, do you identify with it? Do you identify what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is true. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
a minister of the gospel. You set your hands towards him. One of your desire is to be a business guru to support the kingdom. A kingdom financier. And God will bring it to pass. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The wealth of the Gentile will be transferred to you. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Let me hear you. Because you've, worked, you've done everything with your need and strength. The thing is, you see, when you, when you do everything, the, the thing is not working. You try, the thing is not working. Now, you have met and you've met a prophet, and I'm going to interpret your life. And after today, something about your life will change. Amen. Amen.
when the Lord does it, I want to hear your testimony. Amen. Are you blessed to be here? Yes, yes. sir. God will you. Now, those of you who receive the prophetic word and encourage it, and I want you to pray about them. When you go home, don't just receive prophecies and go and see. Am I seeing somebody? Yes. You, one of the ways you know a true prophet is after he has spoken, then you pray <laughs> about the prophetic word for the Lord to speak to you. Am I seeing somebody? Yes. yes. Am I seeing somebody? Yes. Uh -huh. You need the Lord to speak to you. Someone says, I need the Lord to speak to you. Yes. God, will bless you. I love you. Pastor uh, Foley will give us the announcement and take the offering. Uh, get your offering ready. Pastor Foley will do that. Let's clap for him as he comes.